There you go. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, this, hello. This debate has been a long time coming. I've been I've been hearing a lot about you, a lot of hubbub. Hopefully, uh, you're half what people have made you out to me as. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, fetch the contention. I relayed it to one of your mods, uh, Hyena. So. <clears throat> My specific contention is, quote, altruism, that being Marxism and Leninism, as practiced and espoused in and by the Soviet Union, was top-heavy with Jews and based fundament and fundamentally based on, in part, Jewish plagiarism. Top-heavy is defined in this context as, quote, being predominantly led or influenced by Jews directly or indirectly, end quote. Do you agree or disagree with the stated contention? If you agree, then we can't debate this and we need something else. If you disagree, then just state the disagreement and then we'll get on to why and when and all the rest of it. I just, I mean, usually a contention is something that I would have some sort of disagreement with. I don't really have an issue with Jews, and for, I, I'm not a big stand for the Soviet Union, so under any case, I'm not particularly concerned with its operation outside lessons I can learn from, but even if it was very much controlled by, by Jewish people, which I would contend, I don't necessarily see how that's an issue. But normatively speaking, do you, do you have an issue with, uh, with the idea of Jewish leadership in, in the Soviet Union? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, and I have it specifically for the Soviet Union because the various statements uh, made by various Soviet leaders that I would perceive to be anti-Goy. The most prominent of which coming from uh, Leon Trotsky himself, he was Commissar for the Interior, well, he was appointed, supposed to be appointed Commissar for the Interior, and he was also the general, well, supreme commander of the Soviet army for a time. Uh, he said that he wanted to turn uh, all of Russia into a land of white Negroes, which at this time was obviously an insult, uh, and also various other things that okay. he leveled. What, what is the, uh, what is the context of that quote? Uh, I'll go ahead and fetch the quote in its entirety for you. Hold up. Okay, hold on. Trotsky's White Negroes, the censored Holocaust, uh, from Mike Walsh. Uh, I don't know who that is. I, I got this from... A, uh, a Russian lecture, and then this Russian lecture, it cited a diary, and then I looked at the diary, and then the diary did say it. Gotcha. Um, I mean, even if... Tr uh, okay, so I would need to look into the context behind this quote. Even if Trotsky was in... Well, wait, first of all, I don't necessarily know what this has to do with Trotsky's Jewishness, with the, the white Negro's comment, um, but uh, even if it in some way did, I I'm not exactly a, um, a Trotsky stan. Um, I'm tr I'm trying to see if I can find the full quote. Uh, when I when I when I Google that phrase, it mostly just seems to be referring to this Mike Walsh book. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, the 1917 coup led to 73 years of terrifying communism. It was an American-inspired coup d'état. The seizure, better known as the Russian uh, Revolution, was because of those. Uh, Walsh, Walsh. Mm -hmm. uh, just look in the uh, just look in the DMs. See, yeah, I sent it there. Uh, you can go ahead and read that particular thing uh, into the nature of Zionism by letting me a step in, and then you can go ahead and look at it, and you can go ahead and see it. It does say that uh, I know because I saw the quote, uh, and also I'll go ahead and copy just to be generous the entirety of the quote for you, so you don't have to look it up yourself. And uh, it has all the context within it. It's the enlarged quote. There you go. Okay. Leon Trotsky said, uh, "Who's I like this? Whose real name was Lebya Bronstein? Interesting. Uh, what the motivations of this uh, author might have been. We must turn Russia into a desert populated by white negroes, upon whom we shall impose a tyranny such as the most terrible European despots never dreamed of. The only difference is that this will be a left-wing tyranny, and not a right-wing tyranny. It'll be a red tyranny, not a white one. We mean the word red literally because we will shed blood, so on and so forth." Um, the biggest bankers across the ocean will work in the closest possible contact with us. If we win the revolution, we still establish the power of Zionism upon the wreckage of the... Okay, wait, hold on. Also I would be well, extremely um, surprised if this quote was real. Are you fucking kidding me? A Russian um, revolutionary talking about working with bankers across the world? This yeah, is... You but I mean, like, I mean, if you read like Trotsky's autobiography, My Life, you can see, I think it's around page 236, Trotsky states that a Mr. M, or I think he called him Mr. X, I forget the letter that he used, but he refused to reveal the banker's name. Uh, he was a very wealthy New York banker. He gave him, as well as various other people, many millions of dollars. Now, we, wait, yeah, this himself... quote, wait, wait, wait. This quote goes on to say that he wants to teach Russians to hate themselves. This is ridiculous. This is clearly a fake quote. Made by somebody okay, who wants to associate proof? communism with Jewishness, proof? showing that even back then... Huh? Wait, 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 hold on. Have... Wait, 
So, you currently proof that's a fake quote, though. You're I saying it's fake, so that's fine, but just what evidence do you have? Can you provide, like, a historical document or a direct that's writing? A question. That's hmm? a question. I'm asking you a question. You're saying this is fake, which is fine. You can say that. However, I assume that you have some sort of basis, some sort of, right, like, I'll thing be, that I'll be more be specific. Quote. This quote is so fucking ridiculously adherent to what a uh, neo-Nazi would write about Leon Trotsky that I do not believe it is likely he actually wrote it, and I would need a greater burden of proof in order to believe it's real. Okay. If this is a okay. real quote, then you should have no trouble procuring a legitimate historian okay. or historical document which has okay. this quote right. within it. Right. Okay, right. So you've said a lot there. We need to go ahead and address all of these different things. So you said a legitimate historian. Now, a le legitimate historian no. by what standard? I assume that you're going to go ahead and say something that I would consider legitimate, which is an impossible burden for me to meet because it's no. entirely dependent on, upon you. So, you choose what's in the. You choose what so, is acceptable to you, and I choose. So what's if acceptable every so if every source intended. which has this quote within it is somebody also, who no, has no, like no, far no, right no, writings, no, I think that's Rorsch, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm not. Wait, 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 wait. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 no, no, please. No, my friend, Vosh, my Vosh, good Vosh, friend, Vosh, my good friend, my beautiful Vosh, friend. Vosh, Hello? Vosh, my Jew-loving be... friend. We're all Jew lovers Vosh. here, right? No, 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 Vosh, I'm trying to be courteous to you, okay? But you, you've you've misquoted the thing from the get-go. You, you said European despots instead of Eastern despots, which it clearly states in that thing. And you've also, as well, made many other very contentious statements, which I have to address. What contentious but you statements? Then into, well, you, for example, you said uh, you need, we need to go ahead and cite um, not independent. You said uh, credible. Some, something akin so to wait, credible. So I'll clarify that. Wait, I'll clarify that term. So historians. Wait, 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 wait. Please. My, my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. I'll wait. I'll mute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'll mute you if I have to. I'm just trying to clarify the term so we don't waste forty minutes. No, no, I'm not going on forty minutes. I'm stating that oh you, right, you, you set a, right, you set a burden which is inherently subjective. Which I mean, I, I can't, I can't. All meet standards that, of belief are subjective. Can I set for you the definition? No, no, and also as well, also as well, uh, you've stated many other things that I found contentious. But you know what? We can put that to another okay, side. One, okay, so one at a time. So. Some most historians have a long and scholarly career of uncovering the truth. If the only place you're able to find this quote is from far right pundits who are not respected within the historical community, that would be a good reason to not believe the quote. Also, you do realize the quote's ridiculous, right? Like it's really silly. You do realize Jews don't like cackle into their like they're they're like tapping fingernails while talking about how they're going to destroy whiteness in Russia. Like this isn't a thing Jewish people do. Uh, all right, so all right, so well, you've said respected within the community and scholarly. Now you oh you, you have actually, is this going to no, be the whole discussion? No, no. Right, no, right, no. First of all, you've said that the quote is fake, then I press you on that, then you relinquish, fine. It may be real, but I need Wait, no I haven't, evidence. no, you haven't, I haven't relinquished on a single point. No, I said, no, I don't no, think this is fake. Wait, I've said, Vosh, I don't think this is true, Vosh. and then I establish for you the no, conditions Vosh, you that I would have. need. You said, that's a fake quote, that's clearly a fake quote, oh, that's my obviously God. fucking fake. This is ridiculous. Here, wait, that I'll is just what mute you until you chill. Is... It's okay, so... Uh, I, I've got him muted, and when he calms down, we can get back to the point at hand. He's still going. He's still going. He can hear me, and he's still going. Wait, you have to, you have to let me know when it's okay for me to unmute. That is very funny. Okay, so is it okay? Can I? I'm asking you for your permission. May I unmute? Is that okay? Are we going to be okay? I'm asking you. I'm, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Uh, you can go okay. ahead and unmute be okay. like, fine, I guess. So, so here's, so hold on. I'm happy to talk with you. However, I know everything you're trying to say. You're dressing it up to try and avoid getting to the dumb fuck point you're arriving at. Okay. Within the historical community, there are generally pretty consistent standards for what determines a legitimate or illegitimate source. Given the fact that your immediate response to me questioning this quote was to start whining that I'm going to call anything you say illegitimate, I know you don't have a real source to back up this quote. So with that being said, can we just focus on the actual normative question here rather than listening to you complain about my standards for credibility, which is the role of Jewishness in perpetuating Western civilization or whatever? That's much more interesting. It'll have a lot less circular what is okay, what's not okay. It'll be much more fun. And you can get to the real spicy takes too. None of this like, well, actually, is a historian really illegitimate if all they've ever written is treatises on Jewishness and they're just...
quest to destroy the goy like i think it'll be better you know mm. all right so uh you right so you've said multiple times especially within the community scholarly or the rest of it and then also you've said there are generally consistent standards within the historical community oh, i typed that out it. word for word no no hold on hold on you typed out I, I typed out word for word that is what you said okay so what are those standards? Like, if, if I was to you're, go in, you're and not going to you, do it, are you? You're uh, not actually going no, no, to. No, no. If, I, if I was to present you, for example, uh, a scholar, okay, from Russia, from the from the time period, if I presented you Nellis, for example, from 1909 or whatever, yeah, you're actually... and he said this, he said, "Yes, Just provide Jews it. are doing this particular thing." Just provide no, 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 whatever sources I, no, you have. No, 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 hold on, hold on. If I presented that to you, would that meet the general consistent standards? I don't, standards I don't know until you, you have presented told me it. What they are. No, but, but what, what are the standards, though? What are the standards so I can uh, then find evidence that fits those standards? You're coming off very fragile. Are you white? No, Have you read a I book know. called White Fragility? It describes you right now. You need to chill out, okay? See? You can see my hand. I'm clearly not white. White fragility does nothing. Wait, I, actually, I actually can't see anything. I see a skin tone... But I don't see. I, I'll. I can show. Uh, chat. I, the re Oh, there we go. Okay, we are determining see? now that you're. Um. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're listen. We're all white in spirit, right? That's the that's the progressive way of thinking. Uh huh. Point. Yeah. But wait. Other things. Do you think that book White Fragility would still apply to me? I'm curious. Oh, I think that you're. Um. I mean, listen. You're acting pretty white right now. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You're not. You're not answering. You're not answering my question. Does the book White Fragility still apply to me now? Now that you know my race, suddenly has the paradigm of the conversation changed on the I'm, basis of this? I'm just going to go ahead and say the conversational paradigm probably still allows for the book White Fragility to apply to you. So it hasn't changed then. Interesting. Okay. okay. Right. So wait, can so we what, just what talk about? Can we just what, talk about Jewishness and not you complaining that I'm not going to trust any source you provide me? If you just provide a source, I'll tell you if I believe it or not. You can tell me that I'm never going to accept a legitimate source. Like you, we can just go through this. You don't have to like. Right. 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 So I'll, I'll try and break this down to logical steps. Okay. A person states. Let's say this. A person. Oh a person God. called John. They state. No. They state to you, uh, the standards. There are, there are certain standards within X community for Y or whatever, okay? You're like, okay, sure. Wait, and then you present them Wait, guys, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So it's already yeah. been put... Wait, so the chat... So the Wait, wait, wait. The sources are... I found the source. I found the source. Okay, hold on. From the memoirs of Aaron Semenovich, quoted in The Nature of Zionism by Vladimir Stefan in Moscow, 1933, translated from Russian into English by Clive Lyndhurst. This is from a neo-Nazi book published in the 90s. So you Russian, didn't get this from wait, a scholarly wait, 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 lecture on Russia. Wait, 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 wait. Russian, wait, Russian neo-Nazis? Hmm. hmm. Are you? Very interesting. Okay, so, okay. do you have so, evidence wait, wait. that any of those people professly, like, Holy admit to shit. being neo-Nazis? And okay. if you're going to go and we, say, we, we have to, we have to, to move to another... Neo-Nazis, then, like, that, that's just a Kafka trap. If you say you're not ha, a neo-Nazi, okay. right. well, then that's what a neo-Nazi would say. Okay. If you do say you're a neo-Nazi, then you are one. So, so I'm sure... It's okay. So I'm showing the book to chat right now. The you're nature, not actually addressing anything the I've nature said. of like, Zionism. You've also not actually provided the standards. Shh. Okay, the historical back to muting. Back to muting. It's okay. So anyway, chat. Here we go. So this is the this is the historically respected neutral book he's referring to. See, it has the Illuminati triangle. He's still talking over me. Um, we have the Illuminati triangle, and we have the Jewish star, and you have an eye in the center, and. Wait, I'm going to unmute you so people can see you're still talking. Fix them. Okay, hold on. Wait, really quickly. I'm not a therapist, but I'm going to try with you, okay? Do you think you might be deliberately avoiding the fundamental situation here because you know that you're full of shit? So, I found your source, and it's a Jewish star, Fixed the Illuminati Fixed triangle with an eye okay. in the center, and it's called the nature of Zionism. Do we want to read some passages to see if right. this is a legitimate you're not historical document? actually document? going ahead and providing any evidence that these people are oh professionally... Oh my god, this dude, Nazis this is so boring! You you're, wait, don't wait, have that, you're, then wait, I'm just wait, not going to accept that they're neo-Nazis. Wait, just, I'm, I'm, I'm making uh, an appeal to you. again, we're going to run into the I'm making, trap Okay, problem. I'll just mute you again, and we'll wait. We'll just, we'll just wait. Okay. Okay, wait, are you good? This. Okay, like, you wait, understand hold on, the wait, wait, problem hold on, hold that on. I'm facing with you. Okay, right just now. so hold on. Okay, so I, nobody cares about this. The people so who that are was a yes or no oh, question. No, no, hold, 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 hold on, please, 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 please. No, please, you please, don't please, understand. Please. Hold on. So how about we? How no, about he's we... not. Okay, shh. All right, we'll wait. We'll wait even longer. Okay, so I'll just explain to chat, and I'll take my earbuds out, and you can just talk to the void. So 
when it comes to ex uh, the burden of proof with regards to respecting historical standards, you have to realize that there actually is no objectivity when it comes to the telling of history. We can only interpret information from evidence that we're given. Sometimes we have facts, like this document says X, but when it comes to piecing together broader narratives, we don't actually know what that means. So because there is always an inherent level of subjectivity to historical analysis, very often the legitimacy of a historical source has to come down to how respected the historian is. This is why for historians, respect is more important than in almost any other field, rivaled in perhaps therapy, psychiatry, stuff like that. Uh, because your authenticity, your honesty, these are this is a currency you need to convince other people your narrative is correct. So generally speaking, when the only source for a quote is from a document called The Nature of Zionism, which has an anti-Semitic JQ symbol on the front. Uh, this is not generally a great... When your book begins, Zionism, how much meaning there lies within this one word, pain and hatred, power and craftiness, refinement and cruelty, hope and self-importance, arrogance and contempt, good organization and stability. This doesn't lead to me to believe this is a good legitimate historical document. Uh, especially since this doesn't seem to have come from a reputable publisher or been verified by any other academics. See, here we go. We're talking about the... Oh my god, I put the earbuds in. He's still talking. He's actually still... Holy shit. Wait, my guy. Nobody was listening to you. You realize that, right? The You were muted and I had my earbuds out. Wait, you were muted and I had my earbuds out. Are you okay? Hilarity. It's not like, about popularity. I, I You're literally just. And I've made friends with many people. I don't care. I care about being right. So far, okay. so neither, wait. neither of us have been particularly right. I've just stated something which is true. And um, I've asked, like, okay, you're examining it from some sort of. Can I ask standard, you a question? But you won't tell me what the standard is. I'll just. I'll wait. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Uh, can you answer some of wait, mine? I just. I need to ask you because I'm, no, I'm the can person. Can you answer some wait, of mine? You, you recognize that as the person streaming, I have a higher obligation questions? to like the if standard of this. He actually can't do it. He's actually like insane. Hyena, you really got one here. Holy fuck. Um, you're calling me insane, but you're not actually debating anything that I've said you thus are, far. So that like, is I, true. I, you're, you're you are actually impossible to debate. You're some sort of standard, but you're not telling me what the standard is. You have you're not, not let me talk. You've me some sort you, of you framework to operate within. You've just okay. made it incredibly... So, I'm just going to mute you, and I'll ask the question, and you can answer it. And not answering the question just ends the call. Wait, wait, I'll wait. That's okay. It's okay. I'm going to continue to ask. It's question. okay. It's yeah, okay. Answer the question, and then you can go forward. It's okay. So I'm just going to ask you the question, and if you don't answer it, then I'll just end the call because I need the answer to the question. Okay? Okay. No, you're going to answer my question, Chief. Oh, okay. Like, you're not, you're the, no, okay. You're in no position okay. to dictate things to me. All right. Answer my. Holy shit! That's a debate strategy, I guess. Damn. I was more excited than that. That guy came in, he was like, I've been waiting for a long time coming. But that guy was actually like, this feels like taking advantage of mentally ill people. Yeah, it really does. Um, but I only like learned sort of discursively through the process of that conversation. What were you going to ask him? What I was going to ask him was, there are two, th we can go in two directions and it's your choice. We can either, you continue to whine that I won't accept your random neo-Nazi source. And that's one direction and I'll, I'll hang up. Um, or the other, uh, the other direction is, um, we can just talk about Zionism and Jewishness and the JQ in general, and you can give me like general things, and then we can continue the conversation. What's funny is, I talked about this to Rose Wrist as well, when it comes to like preparing to debate neo-Nazis, it's that underneath all the stuff they believe in, they have a very deep-seated insecurity because they know that their ideas are so insane that actual academics don't touch them. Um... So th there's like an underlying insecurity there, which is why that guy got super offended when I suggested that the random uncredited quote that he brought up was illegitimate. I like how he initially said, by the way, that like, um, he initially said like he heard it at a lecture, but it's a neo-Nazi. Is he still, no, he's not still talking. I, I hung up because he wasn't going to stop. One another or nah? Wait, there's another? Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Um, but anyway, yeah, to, 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 to finish the, uh, to finish the point though, yeah, just looking up sources is important.
Uh, the foundations of Zionism were formulated in ancient times some 3,000 years ago, and they are the Jews are God's chosen people, all other people. It's literally, it's just the JQ. It's literally just the JQ, written in the 1990s, you know. Uh, can we find, can we find, um, here we go. Yep, and here's the Trotsky quote, right, right here. Look at that. Just word for word, exactly what he copy-pasted to me. Word to word, exactly what he copy-pasted to me. Look at the look at the uh, last chapter title. The Jewish quote. Well, what are you gonna do, folks? Um, but how can you know my source isn't legitimate? You have not provided a standard for legitimacy. This random unsourced screen, <laughs> the white man's Bible, might is right. Cosmotheism. My Awakening, The Controversy of Zion, The Conquest of the World by Jews, 1878. Yeah, nothing but the best from these people. But that guy does believe this source is every bit as legitimate as like any other. So yeah, from David Duke, yeah. Um, this guy does believe that this source is every bit as legitimate as like anything else. If I said, hey, this is literally unsourced and just has like Nazi shit linked in it all over the place, he'd be like, well, how do you know they're Nazis? What about the memoirs? This is taking the quote from. The quote's probably bullshit, but appearing here doesn't prove that. Um, yeah, let's see. Where is the... Uh, from the news... Uh, taken from the memoirs of Aaron Simonovich, a jeweler at the court of Tsar's Imperial Majesty. And can we find any information on this? Available and annotated... For the first time in English, his memoirs offer an intimate view of Rasputin through the eyes of his dear friend and secretary. Simonovich reveals Rasputin's progressive ideas for social and economic form that outrage the nobilities. Interesting. What if we look at Aaron Simonovich Trotsky? And look at that. We get a f oh, we get a Facebook quote. The Real Holocaust from the Death of Communism.com, a poll thread. Yeah. Was the Haldemar genocide, full text of Zionism in Russia. So, again, uh, just as a general rule, if this is where the information is coming from, it's probably not true. There would probably be a, a real discourse on that subject than, uh, that more than just this. Didn't hear you debunking it, though? Yeah, it's true. I can't literally time travel uh, to uh, whenever the fuck that conversation was supposed to take place. Anyway, yeah. Just not a legitimate historical... You realize it's impossible to 100% debunk any quote, right? You don't know what anyone has said. What if, what if Trotsky said that while eating a sandwich, like in the shower or something? Just like a really soggy sandwich, you know? Like, we don't know, but the actual source of the quote has to be pretty legit. Uh... Especially when the only people who are talking about it are neo-Nazis. Okay, what's this other debate? <laughs>